cannot tell if it's just my camera monitor or if I am looking extremely red right now. Why am I so red? Is that gonna fix it if I stand in front of the actual light? Kind of. Oh, now, now I'm, now I'm ridiculously white. Great. Hey guys, today's video is going to be a vlog style video because I posted one of these last week, week before, some time ago, and you guys were like, do more vlogs! For goodness sake, you haven't done vlogs in ages, why did you stop? So I'm, I'm listening to you, I'm giving you what you've asked for, and I'm gonna do a few more vlogs. I have some things planned, hopefully it will all go to plan, it never does with me but we're gonna try anyway. So my goal for today is finally sorting out my hamster supplies because they have been, this is ridiculous, my supplies have been in a cardboard box like this, not, not very elegant looking, for weeks on end. I have no idea what happened because they used to be really well organized. I don't know how they went from being well organized to being in a cardboard box, but I need to sort the situation out because it's driving me crazy. So I purchased for myself a few organizational products. I have this chest of drawers here. This is the Malm dresser from Ikea, of course. Where else would it be from? Uh, I also have a shelf which I'm going to be putting up above there and I have uh, another one of these Billy units, a thinner one coming up to go down here but that's not arrived yet as well as another shelf I'm, I don't know what's going on with these guys these are my photo shelves and I wanted to put some of uh, your guys artwork up here and I've got two drawings although this one got water damaged and needs to be reprinted uh, but I have a few more to print off and my printer is out of ink so not going to plan as usual uh, but I'm going to be moving these picture shelves up a little bit and then having another regular shelf underneath them Since this tends to be where I film most of my videos. This is kind of the backdrop for it uh, And I want to make it look nice, but yeah that stuff hasn't arrived yet So today I'm just focusing on filling up these drawers Getting all this stuff sorted out. This is yet more hamster stuff that hasn't been organized. Um, I've got a box of substrate there, which I need to use, but you'll see that in another video. I've got this stuff on top of here. It's just, yeah, it's a bit ridiculous and I hate the whole thing. So far I have put a few things in the drawers already. In this top drawer I have uh, food and snacks and treats and lovely things. I think at some point I will have to do sort of a detailed look into what I put into these drawers. Uh, there seems to be a lot going on here. I've got some peanuts at the back and a bag of commercial hamster food and I've got some seed mixes and walnuts and treats and all sorts of these things. <laughs> This is brilliant. These are uh, the Dreamies cheesy flavoured cat treats and the cats go mental for these. I've only just bought these about two days ago, never ever used them before, never tried them before. I've used Dreamies but not this particular flavour. So I gave them to the cats, cats went insane for them. Gave it to, I, uh, to Potassium, sorry. He went insane, he literally snatched these out of my fingers, he loves them so much. Gave one to Iodine. And she did that face that she did when I tried offering her mackerel. So, um, yeah, Iodine's an odd one. She doesn't, she doesn't like foods that you would really expect them to like. So, yeah, I'm not sure what that's all about. I also have put a few things in the bottom drawer, but this really is not organized either. I've got a few cleaning products, I've got the hay, I've got the what's left in my bag of sand. Um, but yeah, that needs, that needs sorting out. And all the other drawers are empty, so I'm gonna be working on moving as much as I can into these drawers, putting up the shelf up there for um, the travel cages to go on and just trying to figure this mess out. So I'm going to start with the worst culprit, the great big box of stuff. And there are a few things in here which uh, I don't think I'll be putting into the drawers for various reasons. This, for example, actually needs fixing. I don't know if you can see, but the, uh, the perspex on the back is coming off. So. I need somewhere to put things that need fixing because it happens every so often. Uh, I've got some cardboard things, I've got my lizard friend who I really actually do not want to give to the hamsters just because I know that they'll trash him and I'm actually really proud of him. He's adorable, I love him. So I might just put him on display um, somewhere. Not sure where, maybe he'll go on the, on the shelf behind me when I film. Uh, we've got plastic toys, we've got bendy bridges, obviously. Why wouldn't I have bendy bridges? I can see some chew toys down there, there are some bits and pieces for some themes I have coming up, which you may be able to guess once you see. We've got the, the coral there, and there's a little uh, 
seashell and a sunken barrel thing. So I think we will start by just putting some of the wooden toys together in one drawer. Uh, I'm not sure that I'm going to like be super organized this time. I think for now I'm just gonna sort of throw things in and then I will organize them properly later on. I, oh, this tree doesn't need to go in here because that needs cleaning really badly. It has, I'm not sure what's going on at the bottom of it. It actually doesn't look as bad as it once did. Um, I'm a little worried that it might have started molding. The camera does not want to focus at all. Yeah, so it, it, it's gone a bit funny and I need to take a closer look at that and see what that is all about, whether it's just something on the surface or if it's gone really deep into the toy. Uh, and then decide what to do from it with it from there. So we will leave that out for now. That, what is, that is so messy. How did that end up not in the cleaning pile? I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this stuff. Oh, I have another coconut in the fridge at the minute that's waiting for me to make another coconut house. I really need to remember to do that because uh, I've actually been trying to make a second house for about four or five months and I bought I bought two previous coconuts and then forgotten about them and they've gone off and had to be thrown away which is obviously really really bad and really wasteful so I must remember to do that other coconut otherwise I will be kicking myself now do I put these in the wood drawer or because they're bright and colorful should I put them in a different drawer ah decisions I don't know I'll just put them to the side for now while I decide uh, ladder Oh no! This thing's fallen to pieces! Oh my goodness! Okay, uh, you need to go in the pile of things that need to be fixed. This is exactly why I shouldn't be keeping things in a box like this, because they get damaged and broken, and then I have to spend ages trying to fix them, or, worst case scenario, I end up having to throw stuff away. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, that might need fixing as well. Oh my goodness, actually, I'll leave this. It's only this that needs fixing. I shall fix my seesaw. This, I believe, is the remains of the stand from my lollipop wheel, which is waiting to be fixed. Some of the, uh, the lollipop sticks have come off it. Oh my goodness, so much to be fixed. Oh, and this box is also full of sand. You can see it everywhere. It's all around the bottom, and that is because Last week I had a problem with um, Potassium's cage and the boxes of toys were being kept underneath there but what I hadn't noticed is that just through aging and through the fact that this is a, a DIY cage the back had come a little bit loose, or the, bo the bottom had come loose from the back piece um, and the sand pit at that time was at the back of the cage and Potassium was just kicking sand everywhere and when I moved the boxes there was just a big sand pit on the floor underneath that has since been fixed, and if you follow me on Twitter, you know that was not as straightforward of a fix as I was expecting it to be. Uh, we had a bit of chaos when the entire back of the cage just fell off. So yeah, that it took me a couple of hours to put everything back together and fix it, but that shouldn't be a problem anymore. Um, but I'm now left with a box that is just filled with sand, and on top of that, poopy sand because of course potassium likes to use his sand pit as a litter tray so yeah so that's all the natural toys are done now I'm gonna be putting all the colored plasticky toys in here uh, I think tubes and tunnels as well although I think I should get an extra sort of um, storage within the storage for putting all the tubes and things so I can keep them together I think that is all of the coloured stuff done now, and the drawer won't close. Well, fantastic. That's um, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. Hmm. There we go. Right, next drawer. In this one, I think I'm going to be putting. I know I put the cardboard tube box, which fits nicely. The box of tubes, because you can never have enough tubes. I find a really interesting thing lately with potassium. He has never ever chewed tubes. It's just, it's not been his thing. I don't know why, he just was never very interested in it. But, 
Since I started cutting these into uh, a spiral shape, so you know, just starting at one end and just cutting into it and cutting round and round and round until you end up with, with this big twirly whirly bit of cardboard, he's actually started chewing on them, which is quite interesting and I'm quite glad of because it is hard to get hamsters to chew on things sometimes and uh, it's, it's nice when you find something that they actually enjoy like that. We shall also put the cookie box in here and I'm thinking some of these builds over here because although they are they would really belong with the natural stuff they are DIY things and you have to be a little more careful since these can of course get broken if they're not stored properly as you have already seen and I don't want these guys getting broken so I think I'll just keep them separate in this top drawer where they can be looked after a little better you can got the little mush ooh. Well then, luckily that one's really easy to fix because I just push it straight back into the board it came out of. Uh, we have the little wishing well. I love that thing, it's so cute. Thank you to whoever suggested me making that last year because it was brilliant fun. Uh, this one, I'm hoping to show you guys how I made this. It is on my list. I have uh, a few DIYs which are on my list to make. It's a cute little fairy cottage with a little front door. And uh, if, you, if you get the reference to the number 19, you're a fabulous person and I love you. So hopefully I'll be able to show you guys how I made that and how you can make that for your pets as well. Uh, I've got this. This needs to be fixed back into her cage. It's from the side of one of her shelves and I've yet to get around to fixing it. She decided just to trash her cage one day so yeah that happens sometimes. I have this little easel board which I've been carrying with me forever and ever. Literally I've had this thing uh, I'm gonna say going on five or six years and I bought it specifically to do a photo shoot with one of my past hamsters who is of course not with us anymore uh, and I've yet to do the photo shoot. I I am terrible at getting around to things that I plan to do. And finally, we have the top drawer, which I think is where I'm gonna be keeping all of these dishes. Oh, I forgot about these. These need to go in the toy, the colorful toy drawer. These are actually just plastic uh, shower hooks. You get them for about 50 cents and you get a huge strip of them. And these are great because you can hang them from one half of your cage to the other and then hang toys off them. And they're brilliant and if you've got rabbits these are great as a as a sort of throw around noisy toy as well jack used to love playing with things like this um, but i've got those to go into iodine's cage and then we have all the cute little dishes we've got some nice little silver ones here which i've yet to use hence why they look so clean got a little crab dish i love that guy oh and by the way my dishes people ask where i find such quirky novelty dishes they're ashtrays. This is brilliant. You can see there's little dimples in them where they're, you're supposed to put cigarettes or whatever. But you can find really, really quirky ashtrays in like the tourist shops over here uh, and in Jumbo where I get most of my things. And they just, they're brilliant. They're fantastic. They look so cute. But I've got watermelon again, ashtray. Uh, oh, that's actually a tea light holder, a little heart shaped one. We've got a snowman. We've got a seashell. So yeah, if you're looking for really cute novelty dishes, definitely go and check out ashtrays or look online for novelty ashtrays because you'll be surprised at how weird they can get. Look who's woken up. I've just given the hamsters some of their fresh vegetables. I don't usually give it to them this early in the day because I don't expect them to wake up until later on. But he is awake and he's having a munch. He looks very happy. Don't you? Is that nice? I should clarify one thing before anyone goes giving their hamster a big piece of cucumber. My hamsters are weaned onto vegetables and watery vegetables from a very young age, so their body's used to it, their di digestive systems are used to it, and we don't get issues with diarrhea, so don't worry about that. And also, don't go just giving loads of watery vegetables to your hamster because it may not end so well. So I've got my pile of things that need fixing, things that need cleaning. I have a dog. Uh, I need to put this lizard somewhere where it will be safe, I think for now. We'll just keep it up here. My little cactus collection. Uh, what am I doing with this guy? What is your purpose? Why do I even have you? I don't understand. I've got a box here of my most commonly used craft things for uh, pet related crafts. So I've got some PVA glue, some string, a little bit of masking tape, wire. Ugh. 
cocktail sticks, which if you haven't seen it yet, please, 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 please go and watch my video on my DIY Iron Throne. I'm so proud of that. It's probably my favorite DIY for this year. Uh, I also have a little box here which I have balloons in for when I'm making paper nests. Uh, I've got my lolly sticks and make sure I keep plenty of those. This box at the back here, it's just a cardboard box that I've covered in uh, wrapping paper and this has my future projects in it. All the projects I'm currently working on, uh, there's, I can see three? Three projects in there, I think? Yeah, because uh, these lolly sticks, whatever they're called, and these cardboard are all one project, which I tweeted about a while back, and I know some of you are still waiting on that. I'm very sorry, I got delayed on it, something happened. I am working on it, it's coming, I'm sorry about that. Um, we've got these two pieces here which are for that little fairy house I showed you earlier. And I've got lots of dowels here. Can you take a wild guess at what I'm going to be showing you how to make very soon? Take a guess, what do these look like guys, huh? What could it possibly be? So yeah, those are my upcoming projects. You can look forward to seeing those soon. Um, right, I think I need to put my shelf up now so that I can put my travel cages on it. So I'm going to go ahead, put that up, put the cages on, and I will see you in a few minutes. The shelf's up, the cages are on it, and I think things are more or less done now. There's, there's still some weird stuff going on here, but hopefully I'll be able to sort this stuff out once my other storage solutions arrive. I've got my little pot of spoons over here. Look at these little spoons, how cute are these? I got these from an airline. When, uh, when they serve the food on those little airline trays with all your little airline cutlery and they had these little spoons with them and I thought they'll be perfect for the hamsters so I brought them back with me. Anyway, that's pretty much it for today. I'm hoping to do another vlog either sometime this week or next week working on uh, iodine's cage because I need to spot clean it. Actually, I think I need to do a full clean out so maybe I'll just do a clean out video instead of a vlog. Who knows? I will work it out. But in the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You can also share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to check out all the other videos I've posted recently, including that Iron Throne DIY. Love it so much. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!